Okay. So like the two ladies just said, I my name is Charles Osong, have been in the United States for what 37 years this month, to tell you the truth. It's a long time. I came here pretty young. Uh, to in my mind at the time was to do medicine, right? To be a doctor. Not too long after that, I realized medicine was not for me. Okay. And I've been working in the IT industry for a very, very long time. But and when I say IT, we most of us should know, especially those of us in that industry, it is very broad, okay? But because I'm someone who gets bored easily, I have moved from one area to another, to another, I keep moving around, okay? So I consider myself a generalized specialist, right? And during that time that I've been working, I've always wanted to make extra money. For some reason, no amount of money is enough for me. Oh, I need to force mute everyone because it's noisy somewhere. Let me do that. Okay, so you won't be able to speak, guys, but if you have a question and you raise your hand, we'll let you unmute yourself just to control the noise, okay? So like I said, I've always had a job, J-O-B, just over broke, okay? And when you have a job, no matter how much money you make, by the time you pay bills, you're broke again. So I've always looked for ways to make extra money, especially what they call passive residual income. Make money while you sleep. How good is that? Warren Buffett, one of the richest, wealthiest people on earth, I learned from him many years ago that if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you're gonna work until the day you die. So every day when I go to sleep, I'm asking myself, am I making money or am I not? If I'm not, believe me, I don't sleep very well, okay? So always look for that kind of way of making money. One good day, five years ago, March 17, 2017, to be exact, I tendered my resignation from corporate America. And like I said, not because I had money, okay? But because I needed money. I remember a colleague of mine said to me, Charles, you must be very fortunate. You must have saved up a lot of money to be retiring this early. And I said to him, on the contrary, I have been working for 30 years and I don't, I look at my bank account, it is not smiling at all. There's gotta be something wrong. I remember Robert Einstein saying, you keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Well, that is his definition of insanity. And I agree with him. That's why I stopped working so I can do something else. So I went and got myself an office in Maryland, in Greenville, to be more specific. And just over three years ago, a trusted friend of mine came to me and said to me, Charles, I have this opportunity that is gonna blow your mind away. And I said to him, you know what? And just so you know, guys, guess what successful people do? You bring an opportunity to them, they take a look at it before making a decision. Whenever you take an opportunity to somebody and they dismiss it without looking at that opportunity, I guarantee you, go and look at these people critically. They are poor, P-O-O-R passing over opportunities regularly, okay? So I told my friend that day, yes, I am gonna take a look at this opportunity, but first I have three questions for you. Question number one, if I do not recruit, if I do not sell to even one person, am I going to make money? And when I say money, I mean real money, right? Enough money, to give me financial freedom. If you recall, I was retired from work, okay? That means I had time freedom, but I was still looking for financial freedom, very elusive. Because when you have time freedom and financial freedom, then you can say you have total freedom. So I'm still in search for that financial freedom. So I asked my friend that day, if I cannot recruit or sell to even one person, am I gonna make the kind of money to give me the time freedom, the financial freedom I'm looking for? 
And he said to me, Charles, yes, you'll make enough money to leave a legacy to your children, your children's children and beyond. Well, that sounded like music to my ears. And I said to him, let's go to question number two. Am I gonna have to pay a monthly bill? In the industry, they call it auto ship. Will I have to pay a monthly auto ship? And he said, Charles, when this company launches, in other words, they were still in pre-launch. And I said, you're very, very lucky. You're, we are still in pre-launch today. But my friend said to me that day, when this company launches, you will come out of pocket one time and that is it. I was already beginning to feel like break dancing, but I have one final question, very important. The last, but certainly not the least. So I asked him, does this company have legitimate viable products? Now by legitimate, I mean legal. By viable, I mean what? Necessary, something that mankind, you and I, we need every day. Think about your cell phone. You don't have a cell phone, life is what? Miserable. Think about internet access, Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, well, life is miserable. Those are the kind of things I mean by viable products. And I know a lot of us here have done many different things out there. And all of a sudden, you try to log into the website, they are gone. They disappear. You want to know why? They don't have viable products. It's that simple. Okay? So that is very, very important. That is for longevity. So when I asked my friend that day, does this company have legitimate viable products? And he said to me, Charles, you have an extensive IT background. Why don't you take a look at these products? And I said, of course. Now, by the time I was done, I told him, my friend, should this company succeed in just what they're trying to do, we're gonna have ourselves an internet quake. We're gonna have a shakeup of the internet. And that quake is already here. It's beginning to happen, my friends. That's why if you look behind some of us, who are here in this company already, you can see the top. You know what that means? We are at the top. You see the buildings that you see there behind us? That building is called Bush Khalifa. It's in, in, it's in Dubai, okay? That is the highest building in the world. The highest building in the world. And On Passive has bought the highest office in that building, not, not lease, not rent, bought it. Because we want to be at the top. We want to look at everybody from the top. So that quick is already beginning. That quick has begun. So I told my friend that day, we are gonna have an internet quick, okay? But I also told him, we are gonna have to be patient. We're gonna have to be waiting for a very long time, maybe five years, maybe six years. He didn't like that. Why? Because he's human, like all of us. He wants money today. He wants instant gratification. So he didn't like what I said. And he said to me, Charles, why would you say that? I said, well, guess what? You told me to take a look at the products I did. And I understand what they're doing. They are using artificial intelligence, AI for short. In every step of the development process, you know, the development, they're using something called sprints. And in every step of that sprint, we are using AI induced development. And I told him, my friend, AI, just so you guys know, is a disruptive technology. And what do I mean by that? One that comes every once in a while, every once in a while, and it'll change the way we do things. We have no choice. Think about the internet. We have no choice. In other words, it would disrupt our lives, okay? AI is yet the most disruptive technology mankind has ever known. But AI is very involved. It involves machine learning. It involves empirical data. It involves millions upon millions of lines of coding. So for those of you who are familiar with software development, that is time consuming. And that is why I told my friend, we're gonna have to buckle up, fasten our belts and just wait. 
But I also told him, I don't care how long it takes. I want to be part of this opportunity today, right now. And I don't care how much it costs. So I asked him, how much is it going to cost me to become part of this business, to become a founder in this company? I was thinking he's going to give me some humongous amount of money, maybe $20,000, maybe more. Guess what? In the United States, we do not need cash as long as you have plastics, credit cards. And I had a few of those at the time. I was ready. But when I asked him, my friend told me, Charles, believe it or not, all you're going to need is $97, $97. And I looked at him and I said, my friend, you've got to be kidding, right? He said, nope, I'm dead serious. No problem. Yes, my card, put it on there. Guess what? It costed me $102. Why? Because the banks will charge $5 transactional fees. Has nothing to do with unpassive. But I said to him, big deal. Consider that dinner for two. I also said to him, my friend, I do not have five years or six years to be waiting on this opportunity because I've got other things to do. I've got to put food on the table. And I'm being honest. I told him, call me, text me, email me, do whatever it takes to get me informed when they are closer to launch so that I can get involved. He said, deal. Well, just over eight months later, he gave me a call. Charles, the CEO of this company, wants to talk to all of us in one week's time. Can you make yourself available? And I went, why not? A week later, I was on a call, and there was our CEO, Mr. Ash Mofara. Now, for those of you who have been founders for some time, all of us, we've come to know and love him dearly. Why? Because he has a heart for humanity. My friends, we do have a lot of geniuses out there. We do. We have Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos. These guys all have the brains, all of them. But what about the heart? I will let you be the judge. As you come to join us, you will find out. Not only does our CEO have the brains, he does have a lot of brains, but he also does have a lot of heart. And that is why a lot of leaders, myself included, we resonate with him so very well. But mind you, I was listening to him that day for the very first time. And he blew me out. I jumped on the webinar like this. And he said, folks, we have been making a lot of progress. I will never forget that day. He said, we are closer to launch than ever before. So I'm confused. In my head, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Not long ago, I told my friend, we're going to be waiting for five or six years. Now, all of a sudden, eight months later, this guy is telling us we are closer to launch than ever before. Whom is he kidding? Well, guess what? He got my attention big time. I was listening keenly. Okay. And he said, we've gone to Bangalore in India. Okay. For those of you who are familiar with that end of the, the world, Bangalore is big, big, big for technology. We've gone there. We've hired two floors in a high rise building. And we've hired 200 engineers. And these guys are working day and night to make sure our dream is realized. So now in my head, I'm thinking, okay, oh well. Most startup companies are gonna have 20 to 25 engineers. Most startup companies are gonna have these engineers work eight, maybe nine, maybe 10 hours a day. But here comes our CEO, he goes to the source. And when I say source, for those of you who are IT, you agree with me that Indians are the best in the game. So he goes to the source and he did not get 20 or 25 engineers. No, he got 200 of them. And they were not working eight or nine or 10 hours a day. No, they were working around the clock, taking turns on shifts to make sure this baby is born. So now in my head, I'm thinking, I'm listening and I'm thinking, okay, with this kind of a resource, yes, 
you are able to cut time frames with this kind of a resource, yes. You are able to do in two or three years what is scheduled to take five or six years. So my belief factor goes off the roof. And I'm saying, okay, this is possible. And he continues. He said, guys, some of us founders have been very unethical. We're going to have to come up with a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA. And in order to participate, you're going to have to sign that NDA. No problem. Two months later, he called up another meeting. Folks, NDAs are out. Go sign them up. I went back. I took a look at this long document. And as you come to join us, you're going to be met with that. You have to take a look at it. You have to sign it. I looked at that document. And I can assure you, I am not an attorney, not by any stretch of the imagination. But by the time I was done reading it, it occurred to me. This is that time I told my friend to call me, to text me, to email me, to inform me. This is that time. I looked at, I looked back at how much time, money, energy had been spent from the time I joined the company up until then. And I said to myself, I've got to take this seriously. I've got to roll my sleeves. I've got to be, that's when I started calling myself a man on a mission. What's my mission? My mission is to bring as many people to this opportunity, starting of course, from my home. We say charity begins at home, right? So I'm an African. So I want to start from Africa, right? And I'm going to move, of course, to the world, right? But the mission is to tell everybody that has the ears to listen about a revolution in the making. And some of us have been experiencing this revolution already. A lot of us are really very excited, who feel accomplished even before the company has launched. Okay? But after looking at it, I called a few friends to my office and I said, folks, guess what? We're gonna have to spread the word. And we had to brainstorm and we decided on Zoom. Thanks to technology. With Zoom, all you need is a smart device. Give me a smartphone, an iPad, a laptop, doesn't matter. You need data, internet access, okay? And you are on, and that's why we're here today. Now, once we started talking about this opportunity, we started March of 2020, I can remember vividly, okay? They become what I call a movement, a momentum, because this is not a joke. Unfortunately, the time has come. Within weeks, there will be no more founders coming into this business. So my advice to you, once you come in today or tomorrow, you have limited time to get your loved ones in so that they too can benefit. And of course, what is this company we're talking about? On passive. I said it to you guys just in the beginning. That name was not given by chance. It is a passive opportunity. What does that mean to you? It means you can come in and be passive. Seal your mouth. Don't talk to anybody. You will be just fine. You will win. Once you're in it, you will win it. Or you can be active like some of us. Why? Because we feel like we have to bless others because we have been blessed by somebody else. It's up to you. Either way, you are going to win. Our CEO and founder, Mr. Mofara, that I just mentioned to you guys a few moments ago, has a master's in e-commerce. He went back to Harvard University to study online marketing. And guess what? This guy is good, okay? He has a knack for artificial intelligence. That disruptive technology I just mentioned to you guys a few moments ago. He's a guru when it comes to traffic, traffic generation. And traffic is the reason you and I can dream today. And so what is traffic? So important. Let's spend a couple of minutes to talk about traffic. When I say traffic, I'm not talking about cars and motorbikes that you guys have back in Africa. I'm talking about people, potential customers, okay? Traffic is a single most important element in any business. It doesn't matter whether that business is online or offline. So guess what? 
A lot of us here have an age. We are digital immigrants. We are more used to offline businesses. So let's start with that. Let's, let's explain traffic offline. You have a business offline. I have the same exact business offline. And it can be any business. It can be a car dealership, a barber shop, a hair salon. It doesn't matter. Let's just assume that it is a restaurant. Why? Because I love food. <laughs> and I know each and every one of us at some point in time have to eat, okay? So you have a restaurant. I have the same exact restaurant, same kind of food, same price. In fact, same chef. The only difference, location. Your restaurant is located in a busy area, in a shopping mall. People come in and out all the time. Mine is located in a back alley. It is hidden, right? Well, your restaurant is going to fare better than mine. And here's why. <clears throat> People are going to come to that shopping mall, minding their own business, to do their hair, their nails, buy some clothes, window shopping, whatever it is that brings them to that shopping mall. Eventually what happens, they get hungry. They look up, spot your restaurant, wander into your restaurant. And the end result of that is what? Sales. Yes. My restaurant, on the other hand, people are going to have to know that it is there. People are going to have to leave their homes deliberately to go there. Because of that, it suffers. It suffers from what? Traffic. So what then is traffic, right? The people, the customers coming in and out of your business. Traffic. And that is a key to any business. Now let's talk about traffic online. So when we say online traffic, what is that? My friends, it is simple, clicks. You go online to buy something. The first thing that needs to happen, you need to click on the, on the store, right? No clicks, no sales. The more the clicks, the more the sales. So we have companies online like Google, how do they make money? They just send traffic, customers, to billions upon billions of businesses that are online. That's all. And then we'll have something called targeted traffic. What is that? Say you go online, you're looking for a TV. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then somebody comes around you and say, hey, why don't you go to xsx.com? And the moment you go there, all you see are TVs, all kinds of TVs, all colors, all sizes, all prices. What are the chances of you buying? Very high. So guess what? XXX.com just had itself a targeted traffic. Somebody, some customer that is looking for exactly what they have to offer. That is big, my friends, huge especially online. Our CEO and founder, Mr. Mofara, is the best in the game of driving targeted traffic. He proved himself. When he graduated, he got involved with a few businesses online and he was always the best in driving traffic. Yes, it is true. He made some millions doing that. It is also true that these companies made tons of money but here's the sad part. Most of them are no longer in business. Why? If you were here in the beginning, I told you, no legitimate viable products. Any business is a time bomb. It is just a matter of time before they explode. And that is why Mr. Mofara and his family, notably his wife, are going to sit and say, you know what? We need to stop bringing customers to businesses that will eventually go out. We need to start our own. We need to get ourselves legitimate, viable digital services, right? And all products, we're gonna use them interchangeably. We need to get founding members, you and I, because we are the best in traffic. We're gonna drive traffic to them. They're gonna make money. We are gonna make money and everybody is happy. 
And that is why we are one big happy family today because we know what we are capable of. So just over three years ago, Mr. Mofara and his friends, they're gonna sit down together and they're gonna say, hey, we have about 8 billion people on Earth, planet Earth. And at any point in time, statistics show that 7 million out of the 8 billion is online doing something, searching for something. So here's a, here's a million dollar question. What are they searching for? What are they looking for? So that we can provide them. Okay? So some of us online, what are we doing? We are on our favorite social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, doesn't matter. Right? I love Facebook. But when we are on Facebook, what are we doing? We are sending pictures, right? Photos, texts to family members, friends, colleagues. Guess what, we're, guess what that is called? It's called community. If someone were to ask you, what is Facebook's product? They don't have a product. They have a community. And advertisers are going crazy just to advertise in that community. That's it. That's how they make billions of dollars. Well, these guys are gonna say, you know what? We are gonna build our own community. And if you come to join us, you're gonna find out we are close to $1.3 million, even before we hit the market, even before we launch. And that community is growing by the minute. Okay? Well, some of us online are doing drop shipping, email marketing, okay? E-commerce, we call it. So guess what? There are people online making millions, making six and seven figure income doing email marketing. I know that because I thought about it once upon a time. And these guys are gonna say, you know what? We have artificial intelligence, AI. We can do that too. Autoresponder, we can do that too. Some of us online are doing what? Video conferencing, just like you and I, okay? So you can see me, you can hear me or both. It means you went to some application called Zoom, you put in some number and there you are, video conferencing. Well, we have our own, we call it O-Connect. Those of us who have been founders for some time, we have been privy to see a sneak peek of it. It is clearer, it is more secure end-to-end -end encrypted, it is scalable, right? And guess what, above all else, it is more affordable at a lower price point. Like my friend Mike Ellis always says, I love that, at a lower price point. Some of us online, what are we doing? VPN. Some of you must have used VPNs. But companies use VPN a lot. What is that? It sounds like a mouthful. Virtual private network. It is just a tunnel. It is a tunnel that cuts across a major network such as the internet, okay? Employers use it so that their employees can access corporate data without fear of bad guys, without fear of hackers. Ever since the pandemic, the advent of COVID-19, more and more companies asking employees to work from home. What does that mean? That means they have to access corporate data through VPN. That means companies that sell VPN technology like Cisco networks, they are making serious money. Well, guess what? These guys are going to say, we have AI. We're gonna have our own VPN. We do, we call it all virtual already. Super, super smart, more secure, more scalable. I can assure you my friends, when on passive launches, the big players, in this VPN space, they are going to know there's a new sheriff in town. The sheriff is already here. We have arrived. We just need to open our doors, okay? Some of us online, you go to Google to search for something. Guess what you're using? Search engine optimization, SEO. What does that mean? That's also a mouthful, okay? Well, guess what? Some of us do market through Google. When you go to Google to search for something, here's what happens. So let me just explain that a little bit. You go to Google, you search for something and it can be anything. It can be a phone, a watch, 
let's just say it is a camera. No big reason, only because I do market cameras through Google, okay? But here's what happens. You search for camera, a bunch of them will pop up. A bunch of them. One of them is from my store. And if you happen to click on that camera from my store, well, Google charges me. You don't have to buy it, no. They call it pay-per-click. So Google says, if you market anything to us and a customer comes looking for that item, we are going to optimize our search. We're going to bring it to the top so that they can see it, eyeballs. The moment they see it, our job is done. If your item is too expensive for them to buy, none of our business, okay? If your item is not, doesn't have the quality that they need, none of our business. See that, pay per click. And companies are paying Google tons of money. Tons of money just to get that optimized. Well, guess what Ampass is gonna use? SEO to optimize people's searches online and send them to websites that they're gonna build for us. And they're gonna market for us on our behalf. Fully automated, 100% automated. You don't have to do jack. You don't have to lift a finger, okay? Huge. We do have a lot of products. Now, the only products I'm listing here, guys, are products that all of us can relate to because we do have educational products, academy, but not everybody goes to school. We do have HR human resource products, old staff. But not, not everybody works at corporate. If you drive a taxi, you don't know what old staff is. You don't need to know that, okay? So we do have a lot of products. But the ones that I just mentioned, each and every one of us is on social media in one shape or form. You understand me? So what, what, is, what am I doing? I just gave you a few products, okay? But we do have a lot. And what is Unpassive doing? Unpassive says, if you are an individual, you're a business person, you need something online, we'll get it for you in one place, one umbrella, okay? Put it together. In IT, we'll call it single sign-on, SSO. That is huge. No company has ever succeeded in doing that. And we are 99% there. Now that is value. And remember I told you in the beginning, you don't have to recruit or sell to make money. Everything is automated, done for you. You don't have to come out of pocket every month to pay some bill. And above all, the most viable digital services in this day and age, my friends, you will be hard pressed to find any company out there that has all three of these in one place. Thanks to technology, thanks to AI, thanks to traffic, thanks to our CEO, who is the best in that game of driving traffic. And that is why all of us can dream today. And so, for those of you who are guests today, like I said earlier, the window is shutting down. Within weeks, founders will not be accepted anymore. It's gone for good. Fortunately for you, you can still become a founder today by paying $97 that we paid in the beginning, okay? And you wait. After $97, you wait until we launch to the public. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to come out of pocket anymore. We launch to the public, which is also very, very soon. At that time, you will now have to come out of pocket again, one last time, anywhere between two to $300. So no more than $300, you're gonna pay to activate your pack. What does that money do for you? That money now is used to build your website for you. You don't do jack, like I said. The products that I just mentioned to you, the VPN products, the uh, Academy or Connect, all those products that we're gonna be marketing, they're gonna put on your website. They're gonna use their toolbox, their tool called O Traffic to drive customers, targeted traffic to your website. And when these customers decide to become part of all passive, decide to subscribe, they make payments, you get a commission. And here's the best part. They become a customer, two months, three months, four months down the road, they have a problem. Well, 
customer support kicks in. They communicate using OChat, phone, video, directly with unpassive. They don't even know you, yet you're getting paid. My friends, it has never happened. May almost sound too good to be true, but believe it or not, it is happening. It is here already. So it is a revolution in the making. We are a movement. We are here to help mankind. We are here to eliminate or reduce the gap between the poor and the rich. If you want to be part of us, join us. You go back to whoever invited you so you can become a founder today before it is too late. Now, do we have a risk with unpassive? Because somebody told me, of course it is true. There is risk with every business. Yes, we do have a small risk of $97, but guess what? The only risk is you taking that money out of your pocket. Our CEO has said, at any point in time, you're not happy with what you see, what you hear, because we want happy founders. Guess what? Just say, I want my money back and it will be given back to you with a kiss. So that eliminates the risk, okay? All I can tell you guys, when you become one of us founders, you're gonna have access to a lot of information, proprietary information. You can check it out. You don't like what you see, what you hear, just say, I want my money back, but I guarantee you, you're gonna be more than happy. You're gonna go back to that person that invited you here, and you're gonna give them a long, long hug, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back to my moderators here, so we can take questions. We're gonna take questions from guests, our guests who are here today. If there is something that you need clarification on, feel free, okay? Just raise your hand. We'll open your video, your, your microphone so you can speak up. Once we are done taking questions from the guests, and please, if you're a founder, please, we have one on Monday. We have our founders only roundtable every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern, okay? You can come there on Monday. We will explain to you where we are in the launching process. We'll have a discussion, roundtable discussion. We'll take questions. And a lot of times our CEO is even there. But today we want to give this opportunity to our guests. And of course, when we're done with the guests, founders, you can have a minute or two maximum to say a word or two of maybe just want to say hi to the founders. Maybe you just want to encourage the guests. That's up to you. Back to you, Senge, uh, Dr. Matter. Take it over. I'm done talking. And I'm gonna Thank say you. we have quite a few leaders here today. And I'm gonna make sure, I see Dr. George is also here. Let me make your co-host. Uh, that way we have a few leaders that can take the questions. Hold up. Oh, your co-host already, okay. Uh, all right, so we have a few leaders here that are gonna take the questions and I'm also here, okay? But feel free to ask any question that you want if you're a guest. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Osong. As usual, exquisite presentation right there. The information was on point. And at this time, like he announced, we are going to be taking your questions and we're talking about questions and talking about guests. So I do see three hands raised. I'm going to start with the first person that raised his hand way, way long time before we even started uh, the entire presentation, Betote Diange. Um, Mr. Betote, are you? Uh, excuse me, sir. I am going to take you off video. You are not appropriately dressed. You need to go get dressed. At this point, we're going to take a two masang. Unmute your, yes. your, your microphone, please. And we need to see your video, if you don't mind. Tumasang. Yes. All right, let me take myself off of video. All right. Thank you, sir. We can barely see your face there, but it's okay. And unless we can see part of it. There you go. Yes, sir, go ahead, please. So, um, I have three questions. And uh, I'm so I don't have to keep. And um, the first um, you mentioned, um, Mr. Tumasan, we can barely hear you. I think you have some sort of a network problem. Um, try again, please, from the start.
Can you hear? Yes, yes, to break it. Go ahead. Just try, try one more time. Let's see what's gonna happen. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe you take his video off. Probably to be better. Yeah, try doing that. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Larry. Can you hear me clearly now? Better. Yes. Better. Okay. So, like I was saying, uh, the the host mentioned that he has, you know, a lot of experience in IT. So I have this. My questions are more technical. And I'm going to ask three questions all at once, so I don't have to keep asking them. Um, so when it comes to AI, um, first of all, prefer to get questions one at a time, my friend, one at a time. Okay, okay. Let me just ask the one question about AI, and we all know you would agree that AI is data driven and it's on machine learning, right? And my question is that when these products launch, it's going to take a while for all these applications to get of data for the machine learning to learn the patterns of customers and all that. And if we compare, you know, on path products with the current giants in the market, for example, Facebook, they have billions of, you know, data that it took them 10 plus years to to um, acquire, to gather, and yet it's still not enough for them to do, uh, you know, they keep learning every day. So my concern is when these products launch, are they gonna be able to compete with like Facebook that has, you know, data which is like enormous and be able to make profit by, you know, because you have to convince someone to be Facebook to go to your product. If Facebook already has that much data that it already beats everyone else, how is some passives own it, for example, is going to compete with that and convince someone to leave Facebook and go to Unpassive's product? Good, great question. I, I love this guy already. <laughs> so, so first of all, you're right. It's, it's AI is machine driven, it's data driven, right? So it learns as it goes along. And we have products that are out there and we're already collecting data. Uh, just so you know. And, and by the way, we are not competing with Facebook. Facebook is not even a competition for us because their main thing is community. That's it. They, they bought WhatsApp. Uh, they have Instagram, I think. And that's, that's about it. But guess what? We do have, like I said, tracking applications or tracker. Okay. We do have VPN. We do have academy or academy, just like Udemy, way better than Udemy. We do have a uh, human resource uh, platform. We do have something that if you are in IT, you probably yeah. use maybe Remedy, yeah. service now. We do have all of that, everything in one place. So we're not competing with Facebook, that's number one. Just so you know, we're not even competing with any of them because we're integration of all of them. That's number one. Number two, I'm gonna give you this practical example. I use Facebook and most of us do, but I don't get a penny from Facebook. Not, not even a penny, right? So. I'm going to use ONET, which is going to our own social media, right? And ONET, by me using ONET, is giving me a lot of money, not just chop change, enough money to leave a legacy for me and my family, my kids and their kids. Now, if you own, let's say, a gas station, a gas station, practical example, and I own a more recent gas station, better gas station or whatever, but we do have gas to take us to wherever we want to go. Do you think you're going to come buy gas from me when your gas station is putting food on your table? It ain't going to happen, my friend. It ain't. So what I'm telling you is that we do have, first of all, Facebook, uh, AI has been around since 1959, just so you guys know. Okay? But it has been primitive. It is getting better and better as we learn more and more about the internet and are able to collect more data through the internet. When Facebook was built, AI was pretty much primitive. So they did not embed AI in every part of their development process. They're using it as an add-on. We are doing it from scratch. We are gonna be competitive with them, not necessarily with Facebook, because we're not gonna uh, allow people to send nude pictures and things like that, no, okay? Like I said, we're not competing with them. We are doing everything that they do in a more responsible, professional matter, and we're doing 
other things. We have a data center of Ukraine lab. We are self-sufficient. So we're not competing with any of them, my friend. Just trust me, trust the process, you'll be fine, okay? Thank you very much. Um, okay, do you mind if I ask question. one last question? One last question. Sure, go ahead. So when it comes to the products, I believe there are like three plus products that are going to launch on launch day and customers are going to start using it. So uh, you mentioned that there are like 200 engineers in India that are working on these products. And when I look at that, I see for example, Facebook, Facebook has, I always take Facebook, it has about 10,000 plus software engineers alone and they have only a few products. And it, it took many years to get these products at, to the stage that they are right now. Yeah. And if you compare that to 200 uh, software engineers products, 50 plus products with that much intensity and AI behind it, you know, it, it kind of, you know, gets me wondering, like, are they gonna be able to do it? Me, I'm a software engineer and I know the software de um, development cycle, sprints, stand-ups, um, you know, there's just so many moving parts. And then you add AI to that, 200 engineers. And I'm a government contractor. I work for a government contractor. We have, we are like 500 developers alone. And we have one product, it's, it's taken us five years and we're not done yet. So when I look at 50 plus products at the scale that OnPassive wants to take us to, guess 200 engineers, are they gonna okay, be so, able so, to do it? So, so I said three years ago, they had 200 engineers. I did not say who was stuck at 200 engineers. Okay, that's number one. Okay. That's number one. Number two, we, are using renewable technology, okay? Well, so you are software engineer, so you should understand the use of templates, okay? So once we create, for example, our O-Connect, okay, we do have a template. Now when we go to o -Peer, it's the same template. So, and that is why we've been around for three years and people are saying, well, it's taking too long. No, it's not. It's not taking too long for the project that we're doing. And just so you know, okay, we're not launching over 50 products. We're not gonna launch with 50 products, okay? We wanna do, of course, continuous development and integration, of course, Ms. Pa. I'm speaking French now. So we're gonna do that, all right? So we are not saying we have to launch with 50 products. Of course, we're gonna launch, launch with quite a few, at least eight, maybe more, all right? But we do have enough engineers. We do have enough automation. We do have, because of like, again, like I say, renewable technology, Things are moving fast. This is you look at Giant today. I, I hope you're in the United States. I say Giant. Some people out of the United yeah. States. Okay, some may not understand what I mean by Giant. It's a food chain. Okay, that because of automation, right? Less and less manpower, cashiers are needed. That's life. Okay, as technology advances, we need less and less humans. Of course, we need still the humans to program these machines, right? And these machines are going to learn, like you say, with the data, but we need less and less. The fact of the matter is, a lot of these products are already out. Once you become a founder, you have access to beta test some of these products yourself, my friend. Okay? $97 is not a lot, and it's refundable. My advice to you, get in. If you want more information, and you get more information. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Mr. Osong and Mr. Tumasan, thank you for such a question. And Mr. Osong, thank you for answering that question eloquently and down to the T. We're going to call on Mr. Tiam. Is it a Mr. or Miss Miss? But the Tiam, you are next. If you can uh, unmute yourself and come on board. If we can have your video on, we'll very much appreciate it. If not, we're ready to get your question, please. Tiam. I will send you an invite to unmute yourself. It might have been an inadvertent uh, raise of a hand, I guess. Okay, while we are waiting for TM to uh, raise, or rather to unmute him, uh, him <laughs> unmute himself, 
if it's a he. Uh, any other person who's there who has any other question for us, Mr. Awesome? Primarily, please, you can do that. TM, again, this is the last call. We are hoping that uh, your questions, especially if you are guests, all guest questions, again, you are free to ask any question you do have regarding this company, and we are ready to answer it. While TM is taking some time, we're going to go to Generis Robinson, please. And I will send you an invite. There you go. Unmute yourself, dear. Uh, yes, I am here. Are you hearing me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Thank you. Go okay, forward. thank you so much. Okay, um, as a uh, an individual, you do not, uh, you know, most individual from a personal perspective, do not like to say everything to everyone. Sometimes we are very private with our way. Um, from a that standpoint, we I become a founder. Um, would there be ways and means that a founder would know what their products are? You being a founder, you would want to use your own products, right? Would there be some way that the products will be sent, will be available? Because you know you won't send everything out there. As I was listening to Charles earlier, he was saying, well, you know, there's certain professional and products that might be available, but he might not speak about now in this forum. But as a founder, would you know what your products are? So if for some reason you want to use a particular product, you will be able to identify and say, okay, this is a part of my company, my company that I've invested in. And so I would want to use this. I can identify the products. Are there any ways? Let any of the other leaders take that. I've been talking a lot. Dr. George, hey. I see you shaking your head. Go ahead and answer that, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Charles. Thank you, the leaders. And uh, I want to greet every leader and especially the uh, invitees who have joined the meeting. So as uh, with respect to your question, our products, once you you become a founder, we are already testing some of them right now. So you have access to the products. And in general, for those who are not even founders, after we must have launched, uh, our products are all called O, O something, like O chat, O staff, O standing for on passive. So you can be able to identify our products from the names. Okay, let me add something to that. Thank you, Dr. Georgie, uh, for generis, right? So just so you know, I, I mentioned in my presentation that we're gonna come out of pocket twice. So in other words, you pay $97, or of course, one or two if you're using a card, right? And then when we launch, you're gonna make one more payment, right? Between two to $300. What that payment does, it makes you a customer. So in other words, we're gonna be a product of the products, okay? We're gonna be the company's very first customers. Once you pay that, you're gonna have access to all these products, whether you need them or not. If you need them, great. If you don't need them, it's okay, you're still gonna get paid, right? So you will have access to those products. If you want to use them, you can use them, right? If you don't use them, in any case, you will have a website with those products, those who come and subscribe and pay their monthly subscription, you're gonna get monthly commission from that also. Okay, just so you know. Dr. Meruda Senge. Thank you so much, leaders. Um, uh, Dr. Senge. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Senge, can you hear me? Yeah. As a message for you in the chat okay. room, it says, me. Says Ms. Senge, please, I'm ready from Betoto Jiange. Ah, uh, Betoto, he, that's uh, Manjuba Malunga. He's a founder. Well, I, I just talked to him on the phone. He's fine. He's, I'm going to answer his question later. He's a founder. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank All you right. so thank much. You. Mr. TM, thank you so much for being here. 
Ah, uh, you are not responding. I want to thank the uh, generalist for uh, the questions. TM, are you here? Mr. Mrs. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. if he's not here, then we can uh, take comments uh, yeah, from founders. You have uh, a thing or two to say, but please, not questions. <laughs> yeah, no questions. Wrong, wrong form of questions. But right. it is right. Wrong form of question because we have our founders only on Mondays. We have a founder webinar, yeah, just where we can discuss our own founder problems and founders. Because solutions. I know people are excited, right? And a lot of us who are founders, we cannot contain the excitement, myself included, okay? Uh, it's just that some things are proprietary, some things we don't need to share with people that are not yet founders. Yeah. And that is why we schedule separate meetings, okay? Okay, thank you so thank you so much, uh, Mr. Charles. I see um, Abdi from Australia. I'm not sure if he's a founder. Oh, I think he's, he's, he's an old day. That's a founder. Yeah. Um, okay, let's take Abdi. Hello, leaders. How are you? Uh, uh, Charles and Senge and Lana and Dr. George. I just came to say hello and I just want to tell you I love you guys when you do. Thank you. We love Thank you, you too, friend. sir. Thank you for being Thank here. There's a lot of love in the in the unpassive family. A lot of love. Indeed. I'm, Indeed. Enjoying, Indeed. I'm enjoying all the love, right? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Charles. No problem. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to at this time take a Cap Delay. Cap Delay, please unmute yourself. Cap Delay, are you there? Okay, I'm going to open the microphone for Mr. Michael Monde. He's a guest. Yes. Yes, I hope you are getting me. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I want to thank the presenter for a very brilliant presentation. And I want to ask this question. Uh, having listened to everything that has been said, does it not imply that one must have a website before participating into this business? Because I don't have one. That's why I'm asking for it. I mean, I'm asking the question. Thank you. Leaders? Hey, I see Dr. Okay. Georgie. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I, I can take that. So yes, you don't need to have a, a website because uh, as Mr. Charles just said uh, recently, once we launch, you have to pay again out of pocket between 200 to 300 dollars. So part of that amount will be there to give you a website. You have to choose a domain name. If you, uh, they can give you a generic name that is advisable that you choose the name you prefer. Once you choose a name, a website will be built on that name, and those products will be placed uh, in your website and targeted clients sent to, to your website to purchase. Thank you, Dr. Miranda. Um, any other leaders you want to ask something? Well, I mean, I can just add for, I know Dr. George answered the question clearly, but I just wanted to add that some founders had asked me too that are there any criteria? How are they going to choose names? Okay, so Think about it for a moment. If you've ever created, let's say, a Gmail account, okay? Once you fill out your information, Gmail will suggest some possible address names for you, right? So, and, and the, that suggestion is usually made based on your name and things like that, something close. And they'll give you something that is not yet taken. Now, if you don't like that, you can change it and put yours that you prefer. Same thing is going to happen. Once we launch, on pass is going to say, hey, Mr. Michael Mombe. Yes. We can use your name, this domain name for you, Michael Mombe 000, for example. I'm just giving that example. Okay. okay? And you may not like that. You may say, ah, no, I want to change that. That's fine. Okay? Now, the only thing is, once you change it, it has to be a name that no one has used already. That's all. 
Yes. Okay. Same thing. So that's what's going to happen. So they'll use that name and now build your website for you. Okay. You don't Thank have to you do that. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, uh, leaders. Thank you, Mr. Monde. It looks like that was your last question and the only one, of course. I am going to at this time pass uh, uh, the microphone over to uh, TM. Go ahead, please unmute yourself. Yeah, uh, hello to everyone. Hello. Finally, thank you to be online. Uh, well, I got the uh, information very well and I'm very grateful to be part of your team. I have a few questions to mention and to find out. Actually, I've been using social media for the, quite, for the past uh, uh, 10 years now, where I use Facebook and YouTube, where I sell my products because uh, one of my part-time activity is uh, I do arts and culture, and I use mostly Facebook and uh, YouTube to do sales of my uh, products. So when I got the, uh, the presentation, I'm very quite interested and uh, I would like to know what are the most guarantee that we may have to invest in the product. I understand $97 is very less and it's very plentiful. And me as uh, being in the business model for quite a decade now, I'm very interested. So most of the things I would like to know is what are the guarantee we are having to get into the business and what are the products because it, we didn't have good, clear presentation as far as the product is concerned. And mostly, I'm very delighted to know what are the products that we are going to have and what are the guarantees we are going to have. So this is my first question. Eventually, I will have to get in as far as the response to my question will get in. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. TM. Leaders? Um, Mr. Larry, Mr. Charles? First of all, there are no guarantees in life, my friend. I, where you are sitting today, you are not guaranteed that when you go out, you will come back. Yeah. Okay? There are no guarantees in life. So when somebody uses that word guarantee, I feel something happens in my body, right? Okay. No business is guaranteed. You go open a restaurant today, what are the guarantees that you're going to make sales? What are the guarantees that you're going to be successful? It is not, it is not going to happen. What you do, you study the location, you study the business, the kind of thing that people like, and you say, okay, let me take this chance and let's see if it works, right? That's how it works, okay? Now, as far as the products, I don't know what time you came, but I spend some time and I explain a few products. These products are digital, by the way, right? So when you say you use Facebook, what is Facebook's product? Well, I use Facebook to sell my products because- I know, do you know what uh, the product, Facebook is a business, what is their product? No, Facebook for me is a platform to get into my uh, tentative customers to be able to, to sell my business. I understand, but I'm telling you that for some people like Mark Zuckerberg and some others, it is a business, right? And yeah, they make money, course. they make money from yeah. it. What is their product? Mm, no, Facebook for me is a platform where I can sell my products. I understand so, that for you. I'm not talking about for you. I'm talking about for the owners because here we're trying to be part of owners, right? We are founders. Yeah. So for the owners, we are owners or founders. For the founders of Facebook, what is their product? That's my question to you. Well, for now, I can't respond to that. And okay. for me, and that's I'm fine. That's very fine. I, I'm, I'm very not trying to put you on the spot. I'm just. That. Yeah, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. What I'm trying to, I want you to understand by communicating with you, right? Yeah. I think it's a better way of letting people understand the products. Facebook has a product and it is called community. That is what it is called. Okay. And you are part of that community. Yeah, of course. And, I do. And, and, then, yeah. and then, of course. And then maybe you are paying Facebook to, to advertise, maybe not. But if you are not paying Facebook, there are companies that are paying Facebook big money. Why? Because Facebook has a community. Okay. I do pay Facebook myself, Facebook and Great. YouTube. I do pay them to advertise my, my, my products. That's fine. And you're paying them because they have a community that you can advertise to. Right? Okay. Yeah. So one of our products is also community. All right? So advertisers are going to come to us and pay us big money to advertise. Okay? So that's one of yeah. our products. Now, I ask you another thing. 
you use, do you, have you ever used VPN, virtual private network? Yeah, I do use okay. VPN. Yeah, okay. because so that's, that's uh, a product. I'm actually in, in India, and in India, it's very difficult to get online with some products. So the only way to get online is through VPN, actually. Okay, a lot of companies use VPN for work, for, for telecommuting, right? So, yeah. so those companies making money from that product, we have that. Okay, that's another okay. product, okay? So we have like Zoom, you are talking to me now, right? It's a video yeah. conferencing product. The company Zoom makes a lot of money. From, from Right now, as we're talking, they're monetizing, right? I so have we, Zoom account, so I understand very well what you're talking about. Okay, so we have our own called O Connect. So that's another product. I, I guess you came late when I had gone through those products, right? So we yeah. do have digital products, a bunch of them. I will put all of them in one place, integrated. We have each HR, human resource products. We we'll call it O Staff. Okay, if you an IT person, you'll be familiar with. Some things called like service now, remedy those things. We have one. We call it old desk. Okay, so we have, we do have a lot of digital products that we're putting together. Well, I'm not like challenging you, but actually, I, I got. I, I know. I'm not. I got okay, online I, because the communication I got from you, I felt very interested, and and I'm very interested to be one of your founders because I've been in the domain for quite. Uh, uh, close to 10 years today. And when I got the opportunity, I said, hey, this is an opportunity for me to expand my business and my activities and to get into some challenging activities. So that's why I'm doing online. It's true, I came a little bit late because I've been online for quite 30 minutes now. But from what I got from your presentation, I was very excited. And I said, it's, I can't just stay quiet. I need to say something. I need to find out more. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you you asked because you need a clarification. Are you a founder yet? Not yet, but I wish okay. to be. Okay, great. Welcome aboard. So once you become a founder, if you're gonna become a founder before Monday, right? You can attend yeah. our founders only roundtable meeting on Monday afternoon. Just okay. give me the procedure, and I'll become a founder tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> who, who, who invited you here? Well, I is quite somebody very, very close to me who invited me. So okay. I'll eventually get, so get, just back get, back, get back to that person and say, listen, I want to sign up now. If you're like yeah. me, if you're like me, I when I, once I like it, I don't procrastinate. I need it now. So that's get back what to I said. No, yeah. <laughs> okay. So all right. So okay. you'll be found out by the end of today, and Monday I will see you again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, once, yes. Once you become a founder. Tell that person they need to add you to one or more of our group chats. We do have group chats in Telegram, right? Oh, yeah. Where we communicate yeah. like, okay, we'll have a webinar this time. We'll have this, we'll have that. And also log into your back office. You'll see the, the, the webinars that are coming up. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you so much, Mr. TM. Thank you, Mr. Charles. Um, really appreciate you being here. Your questions, I think, were resourceful to quite a few people here on this platform. At this time, I am going to take Naga Ravikrishnaina. Hey, Raga. Naga. 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 Yes. Yeah. How are you doing? Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, uh, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, Charles, sir, uh, I want to take the opportunity to give a clarification for uh, Mr. TM. I am a uh, proud founder. Uh, sir, uh, uh, can you give me a chance to uh, one minute, sir? Uh, Mr. Charles? Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, sir, Mr. TM asking uh, uh, what is, uh, how, uh, he's asking one question, uh, sir. Uh, how can I, how, how can I join this one, in this uh, founder? What is the guarantee? He's asking, uh, sir. Uh, my, uh, my founders, uh, in my team, I was telling this answer to them. Is a guarantee is a, a Hyderabad office. Hyderabad office is not a joke. Yes, sir. Orlando office is not a joke. And sir, uh, and uh, the 800 uh, employees are not a joke. And uh, the office in the inside the office, the employees and uh, uh, office own building without government permission, without uh, legality permissions. We cannot able to do. That is the guarantee. That is we have to believe. 
our belief is our guarantee uh, 1200 uh, 1.2 million founders is a guarantee that that we have to believe that is my salary. i was giving the answers to our uh, team sir thank, thank you so much thank you naga for your contribution uh, by the way naga thank is you, from sir. india and our we have an office in india hyderabad that's where everything has been happening until lately where we have uh, other offices but he, he just made me to think of something right and this is for everybody not just for tm okay so it is sort of like i come to you and i say hey i'm going to open a business for you but now let's talk about regular business because most of us when it's digital we have to think a lot but regular business and I like restaurant, okay? And I come to you and I say, hey, I'm going to open a restaurant for you. Maybe I say, give me what, $5,000, man. Just use that amount, okay? And I'll open a restaurant for you. I'll make sure I sell the food that is highly in demand. Whatever I sell is highly in demand. I'll make sure I get the best location which is in our case, the location is online, okay? Nothing beats online. I'll make sure I get the best location. I'll make sure I look for customers that need that food that you sell, that love the food that you sell. And I'm gonna be sending the customers to your restaurant every day, every day, every by the hour, by the minute, okay? And normally say to open a restaurant of that nature costs $100,000, but I just asked you 5,000. And I'm going to send you customers. I'm going to put the food. I'm going to supply. I'm going to take care of the customers. All of that stuff. Yet, you come to me and say, what's the guarantee that I'm going to make money? No guarantees. See what I'm saying? But you know that, hey, if I get this restaurant right here in this place, selling these things that these people love so much, this kind of customers coming all the time, you know that your chances are very, very high. That's what I'm talking about. And that's, that's the risk in business, every business. You weigh the risk. You look at, okay, what are the chances? What are these products that I'm doing? What's my location? What is all this? How much am I spending for the business? All of that. And then you see that there is no way on earth that you pay $97 and you pay another $300. There's no way on earth that you're not going to be profitable. It's impossible. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Thank you so much, leaders. Thank you, uh, Mr. Naga, for that input. Um, at this time, I'm going to be taking Frank Osafo. Frank, you need to unmute yourself and um, open your video. But most importantly, I want to find out: Are you a founder or are you a guest? No, I'm a founder. Okay. Input. One oh. and a half minutes. Uh, okay, yeah, I want to find out. Uh, she has a she has a stop clock. Okay, she's. I do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, Mister Obey invite uh, like he the one, one who signed me up. So I wanted to find out much about uh, like is there going to be a way that they will use your social security. Okay, Mr. Frank, I'm going to have to um, hold you right there. You have to come to the Monday webinar, right, Mr. Charles? That's right. Come to Monday webinar and ask that question. That's for founders only. Whoever is not in yet, that's proprietary information, sir. Do you have any other questions that do not relate to any proprietary information? I think you are muted. Go ahead, please, and unmute yourself. I said that where can I get more videos and so that I will send to my, I will share to my uh, friends. YouTube, and and YouTube, sir. And we do have a whole lot of videos on YouTube. This one actually is being recorded right now. So immediately it's okay. done, Mr. Charles. Can you tell them where they can find this video today? Yeah. Um... I think I'm gonna put on my channel. It's kind of long though. I have to kind of chop it. Oh, I, I know what. Yeah, uh, Doctor Georgie, you you have a YouTube channel that's active, right? 
I can put it on his channel. Yeah. Thank you so much, leaders. Okay. Or you just type type my name, Charles Oson, okay? If you send it to YouTube, type Charles Oson, it'll pop up, you know. My, my channel is called Charles Oson on Passive, but if you just type my name, it'll pop up. Okay, okay. Thank so, you very much. And I'll much. put it on his channel as well. So we have multiple sources. I think yeah. Dr. Okay. Meda also has a channel, we'll put it there. But if you can add me to your group so that I'll... What do you mean group? Are you not part of one of our group groups? Uh, no, no, I don't have, I have only small group. Where are you based, sir? I'm in Texas, Houston. Um, okay, just put your name at, uh, in the chat board. Do you know where it is? Yes. Okay, put your name on the chat board. I'm going to add your name on it. Just download Telegram and I'm going to put you on there. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, one of our leaders has his hand up. He wants to say something. So we're going to, at this time, take Mr. Landry Akin Remy. Oh, you're, you're already mute. Oh, never mind. Oh, my fault. I muted you. Go ahead and unmute yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my leaders. I think one of the most profound things I gained today, the Indian founder said, our belief is our guarantee. That was profound. Your belief is your guarantee. If you believe in this, that's enough. And that's what all of us, we have held on to. And that's why we are excited. And that's more. The second thing is, uh, in the course, I think one of the question was, uh, there are some big guys, how do you compete? I literally tell everybody, there used to be Yahoo. If Google was afraid of Yahoo, Google would not come out. If Zoom was afraid of Skype, it won't come out. So if you if you if you're afraid or you fear competition, you're dead on arrival. So please let's just uh, keep low on uh, there's a big guy in the town or whatever. No. We know the game, we are prepared, we are well armed, and we know where we're going. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Langway, I came all the way from Nigeria, one of our leaders there. And if you're based there, do not miss out on any meetings. Go online and search for them. They do have meetings on site and online. Thank you so much. Any other leaders? Um, before we wrap up, looks like we do not have uh, any hands raised at this time. Yes, sir. Mr. Aja, he is a guest. Unmute yourself, sir. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, sir, please go ahead. Okay, thank you. I would like to thank the presenter for uh, the presentation, brief straight to the point. Just to be sure, I wanted to know, uh, he said uh, we have up to Monday to be founders. After Monday, will the doors be shut? After Monday, what do we become? People come after, what are they? Mr. Charles? Since, since this is an opportunity, wants to uh, to be far reaching to um, the most number of people who can join. After Monday, what do we become? Okay, so I did not say that, I did not say that the doors will shut on Monday. That's what I'm asking. No, I'm, I'm saying what I did happen? not say that. I probably misunderstood me. I said we have a few weeks, okay, for the founders to for the door to be shut. I just said that if you sign up before Monday, you are able to attend the founders only round table on Monday. Okay, okay. I may have misunderstood that's right. Okay. Okay. Please if I may another question. Just to be sure, I had $97, $300. Which one? Both. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. $97 makes you a founder okay and that yes. is huge that is i call that skin in the game as we call it here in the united states yeah so because the world cannot be a founder so that's how you differentiate yourself now that you're a okay. founder now that you're a founder when we launch you're gonna come up with that let's say 300 bucks to activate your pack which means that that money they're gonna use to be your website 
drive traffic to your website, all that stuff. That's what, so you have to pay twice. You have to come out of pocket twice as a founder okay. and passive. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, this is just a remark, not a question. I shared a link with a couple of people and they seem to know about this opportunity. But after they don't seem to also know that it's in pre launch and they said, oh, we had this, but nothing has come out of it. So it seems to me that you are still in pre launch and a few people don't know the, the very thing that is a scam. Because I shared the link with some people and are they are wondering. Founder? Are you a founder? Not yet, sir. I'm hoping to. Not yet? Okay. All right. That's mm -hmm. fine. I just want to know because founders, founders tend to understand more. They know you better. Just said a gentleman, you just said the gentleman who was a software engineer saying that he knows what it takes and he's kind of worried that would we're actually very, very fast. Let me just tell you that. Okay. So okay. those people will sit and say, oh, it's three years, nothing has come out of it. Because they don't know, they don't know a thing or two about it. they don't know what they're talking about. Let's put it that way. Okay. So we are we we are who are founders and engaged founders, right? Who have seen this baby develop from no website, word of mouth. Yeah, for those those people who came early 2018 when we first started. Somebody has to tell you that, hey, this is the idea, our CEO's vision. You actually have to give them cash money, okay? And then they have to mail it to Ash and they have to write it on a, on a spreadsheet with hand, okay? We have seen this baby develop from that until just a few days ago, we finally purchased the highest building, the highest office in the world, in addition to what we already have. Like the guys just say Hydra, but and all the other places, okay? And we have products that we can use already. Okay, so we see the development, we are excited, and we know that our future is all but set. Okay, so oh. you wanna, <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 okay, just to follow through that, do we have any leaders in Cameroon? We do have quite a few leaders in Cameroon, yes. Are you in Cameroon? Okay, yeah. Yes, I am. Where I'm in Cameroon? In Yaoundé. I'm in Yaoundé. Yeah. Okay, we do have a bunch of leaders in Yaoundé, Martial, uh, Oswald. We have, I just came from Cameroon recently, matter of fact, and I had a meeting in, in the culture, such whatever, Santa Santa Cultural. Cultural. Voila, Santa Cultural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and it was a big one. We had over close to 600 people present physically, right? Okay. So unfortunately, you weren't. <laughs> I didn't know. I was, I was invited today. Okay, so so uh, excuse me, Mr. Charles. I heard uh, Mr. Aja say he was sharing a link. So which link are you sharing? Is it like oh the one that was YouTube? sent? The one that was yes, the the, 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 the Zoom. The one that was sent to me. The Zoom. Oh, Zoom for attendance. Yeah, the Zoom link. The Zoom link. That's... Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. It's good to yeah, share. Yeah. So when he started, I said, okay, see these opportunities to reach out to. Uh, a huge crowd. Let me share with family and friends who can join. It's a good thing. I'm surprised to see Mr. Mr. Tiam is your friend. I didn't know he was also <laughs> connected somehow. So, I don't know. Yeah, so exactly. So once you become a founder, yeah. uh, we have, we're going to have this. We have this. I personally have this Thursdays. I mean, when I say I, I mean the leaders here will decided to have this Thursdays and Saturdays same time. And there's a corporate one on Tuesdays and there are other ones around, okay? There's a Niger okay. webinar. I mean, so, so many different webinars that you can plug your people in because we do have limited time, like I say, to be in that pre-launch that we're talking about. Okay. okay. We've been in pre-launch for just over three years and now we've come to that point where that is gonna wanna shut the doors, period, okay? And just a matter of weeks, okay? So. You have limited time to come in and then bring your loved ones. Because once it's shut, it is gone for good, forever. It's never going to come again. So, Mr. Okay. Aja, uh, there is one thing I want to add. Because you said your friends were saying uh, they were talking about this for... Uh, they have been talking about it for a while, then long. Yeah, they are the remember, difference... you two are here. You two are here. I'm like, yeah, like, what? Well, so this thing we've been in for a while now. Not yeah. coming out of so, so the yeah. difference is... We are not looking for customers, right? <laughs> customers are those who come to consume the products. We are looking for founders, those who are 
bringing the products for customers to buy. So that's the position you are in. Right. So please take that, take that step and, and join us. Okay. And, and I want to say this, I'm glad you brought that up because there are most of mostly founders here. <clears throat> and <clears throat> most of the founders you see here, these are founders that are active. Those ones that say we'll be here for a while and not has come out, those are ones that are inactive. Okay. Now let, let's say, and I always use this, I've used this quite a few times. You are a mother and you have two children. For example, one of the children is always with you in the kitchen while you're cooking. The other child is just playing outside with their friends all the time. Okay. Now, that child that is in the kitchen with you cooking, that child will never ask you, mom, when is the food going to be ready? You know why? The child is involved. Maybe you are trying to make some stew. Uh, maybe you decide to add some vegetables and you say, hey, why don't you go next door and get some vegetables? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe if we add some fish, it's going to be even better. Why don't we get fish? You see what I mean? That child is involved. The one that is outside playing is the one that comes every now and then, mom, what's going on? You guys are taking too long. Is this thing ever going to be ready? Are you cooking stone or whatever? You see what I'm saying? Those okay. are those founders that are not involved, they are not engaged, and they just keep saying, oh, that thing will be there for a long time. It's not just happening. Guess what? They are going to be shocked, beyond shock, once we launch. Because they have no clue what is about to hit them. No clue whatsoever. So I hope okay. that you come in, you're going to be engaged, OK? <laughs> sure. I got, the, I, I got yeah, it. I got it. I'm here. Yes. A lot of us are excited. Thank you so much, leaders. Thank you, Mr. Aja, for all the very, very resourceful questions. Do you have any other questions for us? Uh, not for now. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to wrap it up here. Oh, Young. Um, Young just came on board. Hey, Young Daniel, are you a founder or are you a guest? Open your microphone, please, and your video. I'm a founder. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm a founder from Nigeria. Yes, sir. We're taking questions today only from guests. So do you have a comment or do you have a question? Yeah, uh, to Charles, my dear friend. Yes, sir, go ahead. The comment, right? Yeah, for the past two weeks now, I've been finding it difficult to connect. With All right, ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like communication is not flowing here when it comes to asking questions. Mr. Young, I, uh, I muted Mr. Young. This is a founder question. This is not, definitely not a comment from a founder. So we're going to move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, any other uh, any other leaders? My co-host disappeared for a little bit. Hey, co-host, you're back. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Dr. Imelda. Hello, hello, hello. She went, she went to take a snack. Yeah, I to nibble on something. So, <laughs> snack, snack <laughs> we do have uh, one. Hopefully, this person is a guest. Uh, so we're going to ask one more person here. Guys, if you are a guest and you have a question, please do well to raise your hand so that when we are wrapping up, you don't show up at that time. But James Ubele, James Ubele Hansen, oh, uh, unmute yourself. And let's first of all know if you are a guest or you are a founder, please. Hello, James. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good day, everybody. Good evening. Good day. How are you? Yeah. Are you a founder or a guest? Founder. Comment or question? Well, um, a form of uh, maybe just like a, a form of information, information because it is becoming a more, more and more hitting on my side. Uh, well, I want to say congratulations for a brilliant presentation. 
I, I consider that as an, an equal presentation and every contribution every other leaders have made and a question has been put forward. Well, in there's somebody. Hello? Hello? We, yes, sir, we are here. We can is hear that a found okay, out question or is it, is it uh, sir? That is, is that, why I want to put across. That I want to put across. Yes, somebody had had, you know, registered, and then at the same time made a payment. Okay, can you okay. come on and Monday? Then, wait a minute. With your, with your concerns, my friend. Uh, Mr. James, sorry we muted you, but at this time that sounds like a founder already question, and uh, we are not welcoming such questions here. Please do join us on Monday uh, during our roundtable, and you will be privy to ask the questions to all the leaders will be available. We apologize for right now. So at this time, I'm gonna be calling on Mr. O. Johans. Well, if you have an O on your name, which means that you are already a founder, except you have a comment. If you do have a comment, you can unmute yourself. If not, please do not unmute yourself. Okay, he's not unmuting, therefore he has somewhat a founder related comment and old question. Uh, that said, it seems as if we are looking forward to wrapping up here, Mr. Osong. Do you yes, feel sure. otherwise? Uh, uh, no, of course, uh, we can wrap it up. So today's Thursday and we're gonna have another one of these on Saturday. And I think we did have a few guests today, so that's great. And I know, hope that these guests are going to become founders and they are going to bring their loved ones on Saturday. This is a volunteer thing that we're doing. The leaders decided because we realize that it's now very, very short. And we're going to stretch our hands one last time to help, okay? Because we don't really need founders anymore, but we want to help as many people as possible. That's why we're doing this. I could be out having fun at this time. I could be out having fun, especially on Saturdays, but I decide to sacrifice, right? So take advantage of that folks, founders. I know we're all excited. We would love to hang out and, you know, yeah. The, the top, I always say that the top can be lonely. That top can be very lonely, especially if you don't have your own folks with you, right? So try and drag them with you. I'm still, I still have a few people that I'm trying to drag with me. I've, I've dragged a lot of people with me already, but I still have a few that I love for them to be with me. And I feel sorry for them really when they don't get it, okay? Some of them, I'll end up spending my own money for them to hang with me, but I would like for them to spend their own money and come and hang with me <laughs> if I can. So I'm pretty sure a lot of us are in the same situation, same scenario. As a matter of fact, usually friends and family, they are the ones that will say no to you before anybody else, okay? That's just a fact. So if you haven't been there, that means you haven't arrived. All of a sudden I say hand up. Dr. TV Jean, go ahead, sir. Well, I believe that's an O person. If he, yeah, if he knows comment. how to clone his name as an O, it means he's already, <laughs> a founder to know that particular maybe they role. have a comment you know we comments. hope for so yeah. okay mr ojong oh john please doctor yeah uh, thank you uh can you get me yes, yes we can we can see you yeah. though yeah i want to say that since the 20th of uh september 2020 when i got into this uh movement i've not slept and I feel so bad when I meet people and I tell them about unpassive and they, 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 they don't take it serious. I feel so bad because, I mean, I've not slept. I don't sleep. I'm, I don't miss any meeting. I don't miss any webinar. And I want to say that unpassive is a gift from God. And when we talk about crisis in the world, even the Ukrainian crisis happening now, on passive as a solution for it. And I think that the good, what Christ, the good that on passive is bringing will silence the evil in the world. And I mean, I, as I said, I've lost slept, I've, I've not slept, and I don't think I'll sleep again. I've lost sleep, like Shakespeare said, no more sleep in the eyes of the good. Please, 
founders who are there, anybody who are using DAO, simply jump in today. Jump in and as uh, our big brother, uh, Austin says, that I have some people, I'm still behind them. It's today, I, 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 I'm, I'm still behind them. I feel so bad that they have not entered, they have not got in. And I think this is a gift from God. And I don't know if we'll ever have this kind of gift in our lifetime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, Dr. Thank you, TV Dr. TV, for your comment. That was a great comment. And you're very right. Most of us don't sleep very much. <laughs> uh, so. It seems as if Dr. Benny is sleeping. Her face is shining. How can Dr. Benny is sleeping? Speaking of Dr. Benny, what's up, Dr. Georgie? No. <laughs> what's up with that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, we come here, guys. We don't want to leave, right? We are still here. And uh, I think, Mr. Johans, all your hands probably have one of those comments as well, something motivational to get everybody inspired and keep rolling, if that's the case. Mr. Johannes, if you can please unmute yourself. Johannes, go ahead, man. Yes, yes. That's this my is, buddy. Johannes, this is Mike. That's my oh, buddy, that's Mike. Mike. That's yes. Mike. What's up, Mike? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Mike. Johannes, Johannes. You know, I'm always watching you guys. This is lovely, lovely. I've never commented or said anything because I, I, can, uh, I can contact uh, Mr. Charles direct. So I don't want to take your time. But this time, I want to say something. Really, I'm I'm um, one of the kids in the kitchen. I'm one of I'm one of the guys, uh, the kids in the kitchen. So I'm just humbly waiting for whatever is going on. I'm just uh, feeling blessed. I've been with Charles for a long time. Have done lots of things, but uh, we are here. I uh, think uh, God uh, counted all the difficulties time we've been through. So, Charles, thank you for all the good things that you have taught me and others, and also Segi too. So let's keep uh, let's keep uh, uh, hope and uh, just be patient, everybody. On passive is the one is going is going to take us all the way to the top. Thank you so thank much, you, Mike. Uh, Mike, we haven't seen you. Mike, I haven't seen your face for a while. Passive is the last <laughs> business you will ever need. Yes, okay. yes, I'm trying to get out of my... You're not going to need any more business, my friends. This is it. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> no problem. Deal, Mike. Done deal, right? Done deal. The Tote is back. Hopefully, it's some sort of inspiration or something, right? Founder, the Tote. Go ahead. All right. Hello? We cannot yeah. see you, sir. Yes, we thought, I thought okay. you went to sleep, man. Oh, I was here. I was just being silent. My video is not coming on. That's fine. Go ahead. I'm, I'm well dressed now. I'm sorry for the other time. Oh, you're well dressed now? Okay. <laughs> Madiba I, I think Madiba Malonge. Yes, sir. I think, I think your camera <laughs> doesn't like when you're well dressed. Okay, see, so there you are. Ah. All right. Thank you, leaders. Thank you, most especially, Mr. Charles also. I, wa I want to confess one thing. Whenever I hear you speak about unpassive, I feel the same way every day, like you felt the first day you heard Mr. Ash Mofaro speak. I cannot thank you enough. You are my greatest inspiration. I've also spoken to a lot of people family members, friends who always, you know, give deaf ears and who always choose to be on the side of failure. But I always have a message for them. I said, don't worry, you will testify. I said, but just remember these dates. It's not a mistake that I, I bring this to you. I said, but guess what? You choose to help Facebook and all these other social media uh, platforms make money, but you don't want to belong to a company that whatever you do on social media is like you'll be working for yourself and you will be getting paid because other people and businesses will be using the, the, the products of own passive and likewise yourself and you will be getting paid, you know? So I cannot thank you guys enough. We keep trying to talk to, 
you know, our friends, you know, back and forth, they keep dragging. But I have never felt like it's taking too long. You know, I've been very active. And uh, most especially with the little time in 2020, was it 2020 or 2021 that I was, you know, attending the leadership training with you, Mr. Charles and Ms. Senge? It is helping me a lot because I do, I give a lot of assistance to some of our founders in the background. When they have issues, they call me. I help them out a lot. So I really appreciate that because you, Mr. Charles, are my greatest inspiration. So I thank, thank you, you all so much. Thank, thank you, you Ms. Tengue, Ms. Tinglet, and every one of you. I am so grateful for you guys. As far as you are, you guys are there kicking and moving on, I don't mind. You know, I'm also in the background moving and kicking. I have never felt any one bit of disappointment or delay because when I look at the money that Facebook, Zoom, all these companies are making, you know, in social media, from the activities, the same activities that we do, you know, it makes me feel like I don't mind, I don't care how long I'm going to wait, but I know the day on passive will land in the in the air, in the internet. The world will never be the same again. And likewise, myself. So I thank you guys so much. I really wanted to make this contribution because I'm so passionate. Every day is the same. It's like my passion keeps growing, keeps yeah. growing every day. So for those who are not yet members, you don't need to think twice, to think twice. Just go back to whoever, you know, brought this information to you. They love you, you so much and you will later appreciate them. Thank, thank you so you. much, sir. Thank you, Mr. The one and only Madiba Malunge. I want to thank you again. You're putting so much work on our live event we had in GC not long ago. We appreciate that, sir. Thank you so much. And, and we're going to have another one again once yes. the company launches. So that, mm -hmm. that, that, that time will be celebration, right? Three really big time. And, and hopefully COVID would have relaxed quite a bit. That's right. And, That's right. That's so right. Um, I don't know. I have these doubts. I no longer see our Telegram chat group. I don't know whether we were taken out or I was taken out. I don't know. I'm going to add you back, sir, if you are, if you're not. Just call me after the webinar. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. Thank you're you. Great leader. Yes, mm -hmm. God bless us all. Okay. Um, is my co-host here? Am I, I am here. Thank you. I'm <laughs> already waiting. Lady, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senge. And thank you, Mr. Charles and uh, Madiba Malunge. I never knew your name was Betuto Diange. In any event, thank you he so has, he much. Has many names. <laughs> I know it looks, sounds like. But uh, we want to thank those of you who are giving this positive, inspirational talk. We do have Mary Ali. We are hopeful that you are either a guest or somebody who wants to motivate those who are still pending or are still thinking. I guess after this webinar, they will go and join. So Mary, you can unmute yourself and join us uh, with any comments if you are a founder or ask your questions if you are a guest. Mary Ali, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, the moderators. Thank you, our Papa Africa, the man on mission. Thank you for the motivation. I am a founder. I just want to make a comment, you know, to encourage our guests that are on, on board in the house. I just want to say a word. As a guest in this house right now, what I want to tell you is if you want to, eradicate poverty in your family, in your community, in your neighborhood, in your state, or wherever you are living, or your friends, you want to touch life, please join on Passive. One of our products, just like our presenter said, the man on the mission, our Papa Africa, just like he said, one of our products, oh bless, we give you that platform. We give you that privilege to do that, to eradicate poverty in your home. Charity begins with you. You sure of that. And with that, you can also touch life. You can extend it to others around you. Please, I urge you, join on Passive. 
before it's too late. We don't have enough time again. The, the, the clock is ticking. Just a few weeks, the, the, the founder position will be worked closed. Don't miss this golden opportunity. It will never come again. Um, passive is for real. It's a life-changing business. Come on board and join us and drive on. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you so much, thank you, bye. Thank you so much, Mary, inspirational indeed. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Hopefully they are listening. And uh, Larry from Manchester is in the house. Hey, Mr. Larry, how you doing? Very much, Senge. One minute and a half. Good afternoon, good morning to everyone. And God bless you all. You are really doing a wonderful job for all of us. And I pray the Lord will replenish you and strengthen all of you. Uh, my usual appeal is to the founders. Please, let's continue to talk to people. And the incoming founders, whoever invited you has done you a favor. Whoever invited you really loves you. And I bet you will go back to say thank you in three or four months' time. I still want to appeal to us, let's continue to talk to people. We need to enlighten as many as possible in the African continent. We need to do a lot of job. We cannot leave it for government. This is one of the best way we can mobilize ourselves for future Africa. I bet you with these little things we are doing today, I tell people this is no more a business, this is a community. And uh, the leadership has proved it in many ways to us that this is really community and they are really committed to the cause. The Lord will continue to bless you all. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you so much, sir. I am so happy that you kept it short the way that I wanted <laughs> it. And thank you for the motivation. Thanks, Larry. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry from Manchester. Okay, um, leaders, any other input? If not, uh, we're going to be rounding up. Yeah, six six o'clock is here, so I think we can round this up, and uh, I will see some of you on Saturday. Hopefully, all of you on Saturday with more guests, because we want to check. Now, remember, last meeting with the CEO, if you were there, he asked a question just towards the end, okay, and he's taking ideas, and his question was. If you want to eradicate poverty in the world, what would you do? How would you do it? Okay. And so that's a spirit. We started with all bless. All bless is just one little part of poverty, eradicating poverty, right? Because somebody may have a home, but that's a broke, that's a poor. Okay. They may even be on welfare. There are so many different things. So, but talking about eradicating poverty. So the first thing we want to do, right, and this is a movement, okay, because we all know the apples are going to fall, right? We're not worried about our pockets anymore. But we want to make the world a better place. So how, how do we do that? Well, show them how to fish rather than give them fish. Okay? Bring them in. And but here's a beautiful part. And, and that's every time I think about it, I say, whoa, how, how great is this? Zig Ziglar, may he so rest in peace. He said, if you help enough people get what they want, you will eventually get what you want. So think about that for a moment. We have all these people come in, make them better financially, and then it takes you even higher in your own finances. How do you beat that? So we have work to do, lots of work to do, people. See you guys on Saturday, same time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, go ahead, Sanya. I, I think I promised a few people that I was going to add them to the, um, the Telegram group. Those should be founders. I sent a text. Someone send your name. I don't have a number. Without a number, I cannot add you to the to, to the uh, to the group. So, um, unfortunately, we're about to close. I'm not seeing any numbers. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that, Mr. Charles. I'm sorry for interrupting you. 
Okay. Though, hey, Senge, I wanted though. just to suggest because uh, there was also a chat in the chat pod about uh, adding people into Telegram. Um, if you uh, if you can access any of the Unpassive forums, especially the one that Mr. Olson uh, sends the flyers on our WhatsApp forum, just ask anybody there, any of the leaders, okay, Dr. Benny, any of us, we will be able to add you to our Telegram group, please. Yep. Okay. That's it. So, welcome aboard, new founders. <laughs> I'm going to assume <laughs> that all of you will be signing up, okay? And all I'll right. see you guys on Saturday and again on Monday. How about that? Same time. Thank you, Mr. Osman. All right. Bye. Have a good week. Yes, bye-bye. Mr. Charles, hold on for a second. Let me get these numbers. Some people send some numbers here, which we we'll also prefer that your upline puts you on the chat on the chat groups because we want to be sh make sure that everyone giving their information are founders, you know, because we're in the founder group, we do share proprietary information and we don't want to violate the non-disclosure non uh, agreement. So, uh, Senga, I suggest maybe you ask them to send a proof that they are founder when they are yeah. contacting you. Okay, All right, I am. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my number. That's fine. Um, and it's a plus one. Go ahead, guys. Just send me that. The last text you probably see there is gonna be mine. Give me a second. Let me put the plus. So send me a text. My name is Senge. I'm sure you guys, most of you know me, except um, those that are not having to be around. Go ahead and send me a text and make sure you send proof of registration and I'm going to add you to the group. If not, contact whoever brought you in, let them put you in the group, any of the groups and you'll get information that you have to get to come to webinars. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much and uh, have an awesome, awesome day and see you on Saturday. Same time, same place. Have a good night. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye.